Hello YouTube, this is Torios for any of you that may be having some sort of issue regarding Windows 8 for games. Windows 8 is actually a really good operating system for gaming. You get actually speed improvements on newer and older games compared to Windows 7, but there are some issues regarding because it's using a new DirectX, which is not supported for basically any games. It's using DirectX 11.1, which theoretically should work as if it's DirectX 11, but as most of you may know, a lot of games still aren't even using DirectX 10, so don't expect, you know, Microsoft, don't expect people to be up to par with their games. Now, you've, there's so many issues, and I can't really, you know, go through each and every individual one, but they all actually have the same fix. Now, the fix, there's two fixes, actually. You need to, um, when you try to launch the game, you're most likely using, like, you know, some sort of form of desktop shortcut. So we'll use Amnesia, for example. To right click on your application, open file location, then you will leave you to a shortcut. Right click again, open file location again, and then you have your application. Now, Amnesia is a perfect example because the application has both a launcher and a program. If your game, when you're using the shortcut, if your game's just not working, that means there's something wrong in your launcher. If the launcher works, you go click play on the launcher, and the game doesn't work, that means you're problem with the game. Now the fix that is you right click on the launcher, or the um, application, or both, and you select compatibility. It says run this program in compatibility mode 4, and I advise using Windows 7, but a lot of these games also had issues with Windows 7. So if it's Windows 7, I advise avoiding Vista, as we all may know and go to Windows XP Service Pack 3 and the game should run fine. Now this is the launcher and the same thing goes with a game. You go right click, properties, compatibility, run this go program in compatibility mode, choose your options. Now there are many other ways to run programs compatibility mode, I'll make a separate tutorial for that, but this is just for games. Now if you're tired of doing that for every single game and maybe feel like you're not getting full speed what you need to do, which I'll put the link in the description is DirectX end user runtime web installer this is the um, older DirectX from DirectX 9.c and anything older it's really good for getting games that are just not working for some reason another thing to keep in mind is you may have, done, you may have installed DirectX so you don't have to do the whole right click compatibility mode there are many games that act up can't really tell you why probably something like they're trying to use newer duck decks but they can't you get a lot of times you launch a game and it just doesn't load or it turns on and then turns off now what you need to do is your ah with your game ah yeah what you need to do is <clears throat> if it's doing that, you have to just run it in compatibility mode. DirectX, you know, having older ones won't fix that. It has to be done in compatibility mode. You do occasionally have, if you pay, if you want to, there's many games that only the first time launching them, you have to do that. Of the other times, you don't. So, like, let's say Amnesia, first time I play it, had direct, older DirectX, run it, not working. Well, I run in compatibility mode once, start the game, maybe configure a few graphical settings, it'll turn off the game, th then restore to, you know, de deselect that, press OK, and then run the game again. It could possibly work, could not. And a lot of times these issues happen in different devices, so not, so they may have like the same settings and stuff, different things, especially for for graphics cards that previously couldn't support certain forms of DirectX, like if you have a DirectX 10 graphics card, well, you can run DirectX 11 games, 11.1 games now because Microsoft adds some support for that. But you, you know, your car games may not agree with that. So that should be it. I'll be making a separate tutorial for those of you that want to know alternate ways to run compatibility mode, especially for if you find that the compatibility isn't an option. And that's it for today.